Right? Feed lips. What's going on guys? Mike from Patriot Considerations here. Today we're going to be doing a review of the 43X and 48 mags that Palmetto State Army recently released. These have a 15 round capacity, especially since this is the first time that they've ever released any such product. I thought it was pretty intriguing. Uh, so I wanted to do a reliability and torture test on them. Now, these magazines actually have a pretty cool feature. So these mags have a plastic sleeve on the front of the magazine that interacts with the mag catch so you don't need to use a uh, metal magazine release like you do with the Shield Arms magazines which are just all steel construction. We had three failure to feeds total. Uh, all three of those were uh, with my cameraman. Uh, he does have a wrist injury that he has been uh, recovering from so I'm not sure if that is the case and he's also not really used to uh, shooting small guns. He usually shoots a Glock 34 or a Glock 17, so it's really not his thing to shoot these small guns like this. So I'm not sure if maybe he's just not used to the recoil impulse or the, the way he has to grip the gun because it is a smaller frame. So it's possible that is it. Um, now they got the excuses out of the way, we'll just get right on into the video. Really good time to uh, forget my mag speed loader at home. These springs are super strong. Shoulder height, feed lips. All right, uh, gun's getting kind of hot. I'm kind of sweaty. We're gonna hand it off to uh, my cameraman. Uh, so we'll do the uh, drop test real quick here. So far so good, yeah. but it's hot as f Yeah, the gun's getting pretty hot. Huge shout out to uh, 2A Ammo. They're the sponsors of the channel. Um, really great guys. Head over to 2AMO.com, um, use code PATRIOT5, you get 5% off. Uh, this 124 grain 9 mil, super great stuff. It runs really well in everything. I've been running this stuff for uh, well over, probably at least eight or 10,000 rounds now, uh, and it's been doing really great. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, I heard that one. Yeah, polymer on the end, it's getting chewed up a little bit. Again, it's gonna happen with uh, any plastic coated Glock mag, so, you know, all the OEM ones will do that. Uh, it's not gonna impede anything. Uh, base pad looks good, no cracks or anything. All right, so this gun's getting really, really hot, um, and I don't really care about it because it's a Glock 43X, so. Gonna, gonna cool her off a little bit here. Ooh, that was a solid one. Yep, same deal. Just kind of speed run through this. about functions in me so far so but that was one-handed so
There we go. Base pad. All right, we got our last mag here. Should make right about 500 rounds. Lots of drop tests onto the uh, feed lips and the base pad. Everything's been holding up pretty well so far, minus the uh, couple little failure to feed issues that uh, my cameraman had. Real quick, I just wanted to say thank you to Tim from Delta Strategic. Dude was an absolute chad and hooked me up with a Holosun 407K for my Glock 43X. If you need anything from Delta Strategic, uh, just go ahead and hit him up. I'll have a link down below. They carry optics, armor. They do a lot of really cool stippling and a lot of other really cool stuff. So uh, go ahead and check them out at the link down below and back to the video. All right, uh, so in uh, summary, for me anyways, it's worked really well. Uh, for my cameraman, he had a couple failure to feeds. I'm not sure if those were operator error induced. Uh, what do you think? Um, I have a tendency to over torque my hands into my gun at times, so I could see that being operator error. Yeah. But that being said, I mean, it's hard to really know whether or not it was odds. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was one mag, 500 rounds, two shooters, uh, two different types of ammo. We shot some Fiocchi, 115 grain, and then a bunch of 2 ammo, 124 grain, which has been reliable. Both of those ammos have been reliable in everything I've shot. Um, so I don't think it's an ammo thing. I don't think it's a gun thing. Um, possibly mildly uh, user-induced, uh, but... Overall, it's gonna come down to you as the uh, shooter to vet what's reliable in your gun and what's not. So um, I always advise if you're gonna be running something aftermarket, especially uh, OEM, they tend to you know have better you know hold on quality control and reliability. So if you're gonna be running aftermarket anything, be it Shield Arms mags or this, uh, definitely would recommend putting it through its paces, making sure it runs reliably for you with the uh, ammo of your choice, be it training ammo and your carry ammo. I also ran 124 grain Federal HST through this as well. I uh, didn't notice any issues there, shot just fine, fed just fine. Uh, the only thing I've noticed is the uh, mag springs, obviously these are pretty tight mags, especially when you get down to around 13, 14, 15 rounds loaded into it. Uh, they get pretty tight, so uh, forgot our speed loader today, that's on me. Sorry to my cameraman as well. We're sitting here loading this single mag up over and over and over again and our thumbs are getting pretty sore. Uh, so yeah, I think, I give it a thumbs up. I mean, what do you think? So far, um, outside of the potential operator error yeah. the functions. Um, they run well, they, they feed well, in term, and reloading it feels good too. It doesn't bind up or anything at all. Yeah. Um, it seems as reliable as you could expect a magazine when it comes to durability. Oh yeah, yeah obviously thing. surface scratches. Yeah, we beat the crap out of this thing. Like if you look at the uh, base pads and body of it and feed lips and all that, it did take quite a beating on this gravel. This gravel is not soft. It's actually pretty sharp, pretty sharp stones. Uh, so you're gonna, you're gonna end up uh, with a pretty beat up mag after that much torture, but it's got a good beating on it. Feed lifts, obviously that plastic edge there on the front got a, a pretty good hit on it. But overall, held up really well. Feed lifts look very straight. And uh, yeah. I give it a thumbs up, provided you guys run your uh, run your gear and make sure you know it's going to be reliable in your gun. Um, 
running federal, federal HSTs in this, I feel comfortable carrying with this mag now. Uh, put it through its paces, I didn't have a single issue with it. Um, and then uh, my cameraman had a couple, but that is what it is. He That's for him to decide whether he wants to run this kind of thing in one of these guns. Um, but for you guys, let me know what you think down below. Uh, again, huge thank you to 2A Ammo for uh, sponsoring this video. 500 rounds of 9mm, yes, it's only 9mm, but 500 rounds is 500 rounds. It's not going to be cheap. So huge thanks to them for helping me out, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.